following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Dynamite J.D. And representing the Million Dollar Corporation from Dallas, Texas. Weighing in at 285 pounds, one half of the tag team, the Outlaw. feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. And I can't help but get the feeling that this is going to be one of those matches people will be talking about for a long time to come. German suplex, but that's not all. Ah, slam down hard. Stars who've competed in a triple threat match feel it's a good idea to have both a finishing move that brings you to a pinfall attempt on your opponent and a submission move that can make your opponent tap out. Given the chaotic and unpredictable nature of a triple threat, that sounds like a good plan to me. Thunderous slam. Byron, before you mention the strategy some superstars have implemented for competing in a triple threat match, and that includes having a finishing maneuver to put someone away for the 1-2-3 in a submission to make them tap out. 
There are many superstars in WWE who can do just that, which makes them even more... Here he goes! Nailed it! Of course, Extreme Rules matches have resulted in some gruesome moments over the years, and perhaps none was more gruesome than in 2012 when Brock Lesnar busted John Cena open following a vicious attack. The triple threat match on the move. Impact. There it is. No early kick out. We're going to take more than that. Oh. Oh, what impact. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to see. Up against the barrier. He's looking a little weary here. He can't be happy with how this is going right now. Given what he's gone through in his match so far, I wouldn't be surprised to see one of the harsh impacts. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Corey, you mentioned the triple threat rules earlier. Well, this match type became popular in the 1990s when it also went by names. This could be it. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. If you ask me, guys, matches like this where there are essentially no rules are one giant free-for-all where absolutely anything can happen. We may be looking at a powerbomb here. That's exactly what it looks like to me, Cole. Into the powerbomb position now. And that's not necessarily where you want to be at this point in the match. I like the way you describe this match, Byron. It's one giant free-for-all. And while it's exciting to watch, it's absolute torture on these superstars. It is, Cole. Unfortunately, matches like this usually result in injury. Sometimes serious going for the cover. I can't believe it. He just kicked out. It's way too early. One's over. He's making a statement here with this attack. He's fading fast. There's a very real chance he might not be able to recover from this here in this triple threat match. He's fading fast here, guys. If I'm his opponent, I'm thinking about putting him out of his misery sooner than later. This capacity crowd starting to sense the end is near, and I don't disagree. I think this one's over. Yeah, if he hits this, the match is over. This is what makes him one of the best. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Boom, oh, what impact. Oh, right in the face. Destroyed. Trust me, if you're a WWE superstar, this is not where you want to be. No way. Back in the ring now. I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2000. Us oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Second time? Sure, why not? Looking helpless right now. This could be the beginning of the end.
Eventually, John Cena and Seth Rollins changed the landscape of the match by doing the one thing they never considered, and that was working together. Oh, Zabrin powerbomb! I'm not sure how much he has left. Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014. The tension, the drama, oh, right to the body, that hurt. What a comeback. The triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship was another example of the incredible competition between the female superstars of WWE. Charlotte was physically dominant in fighting off the challenges of Bailey and Sasha Banks. At one point, the Queen even landed a moonsault on both their opponents at the same time. But the boss and Bailey put it all on the line and kept fighting. There were several near pinfalls during this battle, but in the end, as it should be, the Queen exhibited her genetic superiority by fighting off both her challengers. After drilling Bailey with a boot to the face, the Queen... Oh no, we know what this is. Perhaps a powerbomb here, Corey. That certainly seems to be the case. Set it up. Beautiful technique. Tough situation to be in right here. Yeah, you have to think this is not going to end well. In a precarious position here. Yeah, I don't like where this is heading, Michael. When this guy's on, look out. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. He's making a statement here with this attack. <laughs> the end may be near. Looking for something big up here. And that's exactly what we're going to get. Down with a power bomb. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. Jeez, I felt that one over here. Got the shoulders down. One, two, gets the shoulder up. Wow, what's it going to take? I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. Real quick reminder, guys. There are no disqualifications and no countouts in this one. Anything is legal. Oh, and there are enough weapons under the ring to fill an armory. In position for a power bomb, and that's not a good place to be, Cole. Perhaps a power bomb here, Corey. That certainly seems to be the case. Looks like a power bomb coming up. There may be no escaping this one, Cole. Corey, we've seen unbelievable championship matches and triple threat contests over the years. You're absolutely right. The fact that a champion does not have to submit or be pinned or be factored in the decision at all to lose their championship is something that can influence their approach to the match. As some would say in a triple threat, you don't have to beat the champ to become the champ. That's a risk that a champion runs when being put in this type of match. We've heard from many superstars who say that fact does affect their training and overall preparation for a triple threat match. It would have to. As we've seen in the past, Extreme Rules matches create a type of hysteria that's difficult to describe, even more difficult to contain. Here we go. Boom! <laughs> but he's got to capitalize now. Okay. We've seen this before. He's going for the pin. Well, that was a close call. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. Uh-oh. We're about to see it. Off the road. This might be it. Oh, my. In matches like this, guys, you learn very quickly which superstars have what it takes to truly get extreme. Nobody 
controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. We've seen it on so many occasions, Corey, a superstar as the match won, and all they have to do is pin their opponent or submit. There's the pin. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Sit back, people. This one's not over yet. Wow. That's pure power, guys. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. You talk about a treacherous environment to compete in. If this superstar can duplicate the effort in that match here tonight, then we're in for one heck of an entertaining contest. The no disqualification, stipulation, and a triple threat match can take the battle in many directions, and each one is more unexpected than the next. A superstar can be attacked with a weapon and can be assaulted by an individual who's not even signed to compete in the match, and the contest will continue because everything's legal. To know that someone could bludgeon you with a sledgehammer, lay you out with a chair, or beat you with a kendo stick, or you can be attacked by someone who's not in the match, and the referee can't do anything about it. It makes things very difficult if you're on the receiving end of assaults like that. Ooh. It's always important to get off to a strong start in a match. It's even more important to do that in a triple threat match, given that you're going up against two opponents at the same time. Add to that the no disqualification stipulation, and there's little to no room for error. One mistake, and it can cost you a... He's looking at it. Oh, impactful slam! But I don't know how much gas he has left. He thinks he has it! I like the way you describe this match, Byron. It's one giant free-for-all. And while it's exciting to watch, it's absolute torture on these superstars. It is, Cole. And unfortunately, matches like this usually result in injury. Sometimes serious injury. Oh, nasty impact. Real quick reminder, guys, there are no disqualifications and no countouts in this one. Anything is legal. Oh, and there are enough weapons under the ring to fill an armory. Shoulders down! One, two! You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. Just power out. Corey, we've seen unbelievable championship matches and triple threat contests over the years. You're absolutely right. The fact that a champion does not have to submit or be pinned or be factored in the decision at all to lose their championship is something that can influence their approach to the match. As some would say in a triple threat, you don't have to beat the champ to become the champ. That's a risk that a champion runs when being put in this type of match. We've heard from many superstars who say that fact does affect their training and overall preparation for a triple threat match. It would have to. Of course, Extreme Rules matches have resulted in some gruesome moments over the years, and perhaps none was more gruesome than in 2012 when Brock Lesnar busted John Cena open following a vicious attack. Inside the ring now. As Byron mentioned, Lesnar's one horse impact to think. I almost wrote him off earlier. His shoulders are down. Barely at two and a half. Yeah, it's going to take more than that. When this guy's on, look out. Kick to the... Brutal forearm. Here, man. Wow, what a gritty performance. Here's a cover. Could be it. Two. This guy just refuses to quit. Wow, I thought this was over.
three of these competitors hoping to walk away with. Look at this. Who knows what's going to happen? This match could go anywhere. That's how you use a table to your advantage. Hooked up and... Oh boy, he is rolling. While this is clearly a great matchup, I can go back and watch this superstar's last match any day of the week. That's how good it was. Oh boy, he is rolling. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to see. We may be looking at a power bomb here. That's exactly what it looks like to me, Cole. Avoids trouble there. Beautiful technique. Wait a minute. Hard to argue Michael's point on volatility and the volatility of this match. But what I think oftentimes can look out. I gotta tell you, these guys are in the best shape I've ever seen them in. Back in from the floor. Showing off some of his speed there. Oh, nasty impact. And he's got the shoulders down. That was nowhere near a three count. I can't believe what we're seeing here. I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. No reverses it. Going for broke. Spine buster. That might just be the final nail in the coffin. Moves like that have a way of reverberating throughout the entire body. When it comes to brutality, I would agree with Michael Cole's assessment that this match shares similarities with the 2016 Reign Styles match. Though for me, the biggest story of that night came after the match. I'd agree with that for sure. Absolutely nobody thought they'd see Seth Rollins on that night, especially Roman Reigns. As we've seen in the past, Extreme Rules matches create a type of hysteria that's difficult to describe, even more difficult to contain. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Too quick for him there. Big clothesline. He's making a statement here with this attack. I'd have to agree with what Byron's saying. When you've got action taking place on the move, picking up speed. Oh. Oh, what impact. That's what he was. And the cover for the win. This is it. I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow. Wow. Oh, boy. He is rolling. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. You talk about a treacherous environment to compete in. He wants no part of the outside.
This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. Yeah, but despite all those inherent dangers, these superstars still willingly sign up for Extreme Rules matches. That's what amazes me the most. He's close to being done here. Oh, oh boy, he is rolling. Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014. triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship was another example of the incredible competition between the female superstars of WWE. Charlotte was physically dominant in fighting off the challenges of Bayley and Sasha Banks. At one point, the Queen even landed a moonsault on both their opponents at the same time. But the boss and Bayley put it all on the line and kept fighting. There were several near pinfalls during this battle, but in the end, as it should be, the Queen exhibited her genetic superiority by fighting off both her challengers. This could be all she wrote. Earth-shattering spine buster. That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. Well, if it didn't work the first several times. When it comes to matches like this, I'd say the more innovative a superstar... Incredible impact! This one's over, guys! Here's the cover. One, two. How does he keep doing this? You have to put in a little more work than that. Byron, before you mention the strategy, some superstars have implemented for competing in a triple threat match, and that includes having a finishing maneuver to put someone away for the one, two, three, and a submission to make them tap out. There are many superstars in WWE who can do just that, which makes them even more dangerous to opponents. The way I look at it is you can never have enough weapons at your disposal especially in something like a triple threat match. If a superstar can defeat someone by pinfall and submission, to me, they increase their chances of victory in a match where the odds are against them to begin with. There's no denying that the rigors of this Extreme Rules match are starting to take their toll on these superstars. That's gonna hurt. This might be big. Oof. When this guy's on, look out. He's in control. He caught him slipping. In position for a power bomb. And that's not a good place to be, Cole. Oh boy, he is rolling. These superstars have tried everything. They have something left in their arsenal. They have to, but can they dig down deep enough to find it? Back now inside the ring. Eludes that one. This has been a war. Goes down hard. Looking for the exclamation point. You got him elude. That has got to be it. The shoulders are down, and the count's broken, keeping the match alive. Boom! <laughs> that should do it. Boy, this has just been pandemonium. Wow, I thought he was a goner. This is what makes him one of the best in the business.
I'll tell you what. Spear! We may be looking at our win. That should do it right there! Two! And he got a near fall out of it. He's showing the heart of a warrior here tonight. Look out, look out! This could be it! This is it. He might have it. Power bomb. Gabe looking for all the glory here. Two. True testament to grit. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. The intensity of this match has been incredible. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. He's looking at it. What a slam! Impactful. A little jar your spine. Here's his moment, Michael. Uh, yeah, there's no way this match isn't over after that one. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. Wow, what's it going to take? He wants no part of the outside. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Oh boy, he is rolling. This could end it in a hurry. Now it's time to capitalize. Jeez, it feels like I have the same song on my playlist on repeat. That should do it right there. One, two. I don't know too many other guys that would have been able to kick out of that. He's still in this. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Now that's a display of excellent ring awareness. Nicely done. Gets out of the way of that one. Counter here. At some point, the referee may want to think about stopping this one before somebody gets seriously injured. This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. This might be it! Oh, my! Warm up the bus. This one is over. This time, it might end the match. This could do it! Uh-oh! Two! Three! Yes! Takes it! These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. He's getting it done here. Oh, I can't believe this. And so it goes. Here is your winner, the Beast, Jesse Lyons. Talk about having to dig down deep to pick up the win. That's a big win right there. Anytime you can pin another WWE competitor's shoulders to the mat to the three count, you should be proud. Well, that was indeed a great match. And I think it's worth emphasizing how huge this victory is.